One of the first song was here we wrote together was called Hypothetical and we immediately when we were listening to the song we thought like oh it would be great if fucking man could sing a song he would be the right guy for it. So The Manson track, that sounds like a Manson song, especially with Manson on it. it, right. it it's, so I could see, oh wow, Manson would be great for this, that's, that's a no-brainer. The Lummy thing was a little bit pushing the envelope and, and that, that came out really well, I think. Like you, I've never seen pretty lights. That's maybe the most bright city lights. Can be forever true, but there's still some things that we can do. I think getting Lemmy on that track was brilliant because it's not necessarily a, a, a motorhead kind of song, so it's really cool to get Lemmy to do something a little bit out of his wheelhouse. Me and Richard go way back. We first met each other in 98 in the first Penley Values Tour when we had Rammstein <clears throat> uh, come out and play the show. I was taken back by this band and thought they were the baddest ass motherfuckers I've ever seen in my life. I just was instantly taken towards that to that band and um, we, we, we kept in touch over the years. Um, so we hooked up, um, finally we were on tour. I finally got home and Richard was um, working on the record in Los Angeles. I was home and I couldn't leave, so I, I stayed in Bakersfield. I called him on the phone. He sent the, the track over and he had the vocals already done, all the lyrics written, the melodies. All I had to do is just copy what he did. It was made it the most easiest collaboration I ever had to do, but what I was taken back by is that how good they really were. The lyrics were amazing, his melodies were amazing, and uh, I really, my hat's off to him because of the track that I did, I really, really enjoyed. I think it's an amazing song and he did a really good job and I'm really happy to be part of it. I want to tell you what it was like to work with Richard. It was very raw, so raw. I mean, it was so raw that every time I would go there, his girlfriend would bring out raw broccoli and we'd just eat it and chew on it. It was so raw. Or she'd make smoothies with like kale and blueberries. Everything was so raw. Mo the rawest experience I ever had recording. got that dark side out of me, you know? And it's always been there, but you know, tickle it and we'll come. Maybe we'll see far more of that in the bright future. I'm just really honored to be able to work on this record. I'm, I'm really happy that he asked me to be involved and, and I'm glad that I can contribute to it. Oh, there was a time I was up in it and I was already to go. Was feeling divine till I was bitten, get on the right for the new show. Was taking me high, taking me low, but I take it over and so. I'm digging a dish where I can put it. 